um, the deployment of cooperative systems a boost. Uh, not only um, the deployment of cooperative systems itself, but also the number of services that are piloted in projects like these. Preceding projects looked at energy efficiency and accessibility, and within this project we will also look at traffic safety. For, for smart mobility solutions, and ITS solutions could really help to improve road safety, uh, to improve traffic flows without uh, in, uh, investing a lot of money, without uh, investing in uh, large new infrastructure. So I really think uh, this will help us uh, to, uh, to solve the mobility challenges. But it's also very good for the companies working in, in, this, in this field. We, in the Netherlands, uh, especially in the south of the Netherlands, we have a lot of companies working in the field of ITS. And I think a, a project like Compass 4D could also help uh, to, to uh, give them some benefits and to give them some uh, market opportunities. From our side, uh, as a research institute, we are very much interested in assessing the impacts of cooperative mobility systems. And of course also there are uh, private companies who are very much interested in uh, further deployment and uh, uh, installations of such systems in Thessaloniki. So we, we can share with other colleagues, um, European colleagues, uh, um, a general approach for which Verona is already ready because we are uh, thinking to these kind of results from years and to have the occasion to share with uh, other mm. colleagues this kind of approach is really, really important for us. The Department of Mobility of the uh, City of Verona implemented uh, in the last years uh, many uh, telematic systems for uh, um, traffic control and uh, uh, so um, for us it's, it's very, very important to change experience uh, with the other public administration and the uh, European uh, uh, organization. The concrete advantages of the project are related to two aspects, uh, the social and the economic one. Um, I think the main aim of the, the, the project is to reduce not only the traffic incidents by implementing the services we, we have in the project, but also uh, reducing the, the energy we are using. So that at the end, uh, reducing energy also means that we are saving money for the citizens. University, for instance, which is, is, is making satellites and uh, we use them in order to get communications. Uh, everything we do at the university here at Figo is very much thinking on automobiles. We are very much used to get the theory, the innovation, the I, the I plus D, and to place it in innovation and integrality. So we are ready to get uh, new signals of traffic, new technologies, new cameras, and just to try to implement all this development here at Vigo. In the past, we have worked a lot in research and development projects to prepare cooperative uh, technologies and cooperative services. Later, uh, we carried out some field operational tests and now uh, it's a next step, uh, a pilot with the final objective of really deploy the technologies. There are uh, different good examples of uh, benefits from a user perspective, from a microscopic perspective. Uh, we can mention, for instance, uh, uh, services like uh, for buses. Buses uh, can improve uh, their, their behavior when they are delayed because they can get uh, uh, preferences at traffic lights. On the other hand, uh, emergency vehicles can also safely reduce uh, the, the response time uh, to, to uh, emergency situations. Then for normal users and for taxis, uh, we will see through Compass 4D uh, improvements uh, with uh, safety functions, preventive safety information that can avoid uh, ris risky situations. And from uh, a macroscopic perspective, for the cities, for the road authorities, I think that Compass 4D is going to be a step towards a smart city. 
since uh, we are improving sustainability, we are uh, bringing more, more, more safety and more efficiency.